you want to get Microsoft certified in Power Apps. Now, why would you want to get certified? Well, there are lots of reasons. It can help you find that job, land that interview, or it can just make you stand out in a lineup of other candidates. It helps in building a case for a promotion. It grows your professional credibility and subject matter expertise. Now, somewhere in this video, I'm gonna let you know how you can get certified for free. If you do a web search for Microsoft certifications, you're gonna come across this website. So let me show you around. So there's all kinds of Microsoft certifications that you can attain. I'm gonna scroll down and show you this first screen here. Now here in a moment, I'm gonna tell you more about the Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals. I see my cursor here on the left side, but there's all kinds of other certifications that you can attain. There's some good information on how to prepare for your certification exams. There's some learning resources, of course, but here I wanted to stop and talk a little bit about the benefits of gaining your certification. I've touched on a few of those, but here on the screen, they've got great statistics to look at and to consider. So 91% of certified IT professionals say certification has given them increased competence to do their jobs. For these statistics, 74% of certified IT professionals say they have greater work autonomy and independence. What does that mean? It means <laughs> your micro managed less. People trust you more. 94% of decision makers worldwide say that certified team members provided added value. So not only does it make sense for you to get certified, it makes sense for your employer or your boss to be interested, invested in you becoming certified and perhaps supporting you in that endeavor. All right, next I want to show you the different exams that you can get regarding Power Apps. So here I found this PDF that seemed interesting here. It's got them all listed out here. So the very first exam, if I scroll down to the very bottom of this particular PDF, we've got the PL900. So we're gonna talk in depth about this particular exam and certification here in this video. But I wanted to let you know that there are other Microsoft exams that you can take and other certifications that you can attain after this one. I'm gonna scroll back up. And if you look on the site I was just on, you can find out more information about each of these. I would definitely recommend taking this exam, getting this certification first, and then from there, move on. If, if you want to attain more certifications after that on the Power Platform or in Power Apps, I would go in order that they're listed here. I'm particularly interested in this Power Platform App Maker Associate. Then you've got this Functional Consultant Associate, Developer Associate, Data Analyst Associate uh, certification that's meant for Power BI professionals. This Power Platform Solution Architect Expert, that seems particularly interesting. It would probably be the pinnacle of a Power Apps certification. What is my experience with certifications? Well, I don't have a degree in computer science and pretty much my claim to fame in the industry has been my experience working with the technology and also my Microsoft certifications. For the first few years of my career, I believe it's those two things that actually would get me job interviews. I pulled up on the screen all the different certifications I have. I have worked at Microsoft Partners more than once, and a lot of times when you work for a Microsoft Partner, sometimes they'll link your promotions and pay increases based on the certifications that you have. It was during those times I really focused to getting all the pertinent certifications based on what I was doing there. The certifications I'm most proud of of when I was an old VB6 developer and I wanted to get my MCSD certification. So you can see that I earned that back in 2001. Uh, I went on to get my Microsoft Certified Database Administrator certification. That was a few exams. One point I wanted to point out to you guys is that there isn't always a one-to-one -one relationship between exams and certifications. So back when I took my first exam in Visual Basic 6, once I passed one of those exams, I became a Microsoft Certified Professional. But when I wanted to get the next certification, the premier certification of being a Microsoft Certified Solutions Developer, I had to pass three more exams in addition to that first one. Almost all of the certifications for Power Apps, there is a one-to-one -one relationship. You pass one exam to get that one certification, the exception of that architect certification that I spoke of, which requires more work. Here's another document I have for my certifications, but one certification that this document documents that wasn't on the other, and it's actually the certification I was probably most proud of, and that was the Microsoft Certified Trainer. It's something that you had to renew each year, but I really enjoyed teaching Microsoft official curriculum, taught a lot of .NET and SQL Server classes, so I'm hoping to eventually do that again sometime in the future. Something I really like about preparing for Microsoft exams is it 
forces you to study things that you probably wouldn't look into. For example, if you have work experience in Power Apps doing Canvas apps development, perhaps you know very little about model-driven applications. Well, if you're going to get certified in Power Apps, you're going to have to learn something about model-driven applications and also portals. You're going to have to become a little more well-rounded in your knowledge of the overall product. And that's actually a good thing. Perhaps there's no reason at your job to go learn certain aspects of the Microsoft products you're working with. And while prepping for your exam, it gives you the excuse to go out and learn everything you can about it so you don't miss those questions on that exam. All right, within the Microsoft site here on certifications, you can browse certifications and exams. So here I did a filter and I just want to look at the Power Apps certifications. Now, the one I'm most interested in taking first, and perhaps you are as well, is the PL900. I, I checked off Power Apps here, and as you can see, here's the PL100, the 200, the 600, 400, and they have one listed for each of the certifications and their related exams, so they are listed separately here. You don't see the PL900 because it's over the Power Platform in a general sense, and not necessarily specific on Power Apps itself, but you can still search for it here. I'm going to show you here the certification, the Power Platform Fundamentals. This is the certification. And as you browse through this particular page for this certification, you might want to gain the certification if you want to demonstrate knowledge in building solutions with Microsoft Power Platform. You want to show familiarity in automating basic processes with Power Automate and in creating simple Power Apps experiences. You might want to highlight familiarity in performing data analysis with Power BI and in building practical chatbots with our virtual agents. So it's not just about Power Apps. Okay, now if you scroll down the certification details, you'll see information about the exam that you'll need to pass in order to get the certification. And it talks about the skills that are measured for the certification. Look at this. Exams vary a little bit in cost. I would say they're generally about $100. You can get discounts, you can get special deals. And in some cases, your employer will actually pay for these. So you might want to ask your boss. I have the page, the official page for the PL900, which is the exam that you need to pass in order to get that certification. There's all kinds of good information here. It also tells you the percentage covered on each of these topics.